I, I love thick, hearty soup, just like my dad did. We, we turn into our fathers as we get older, and I, every time I eat this really thick, hearty soup, I think of my dad, uh, my mother's soup. Um, so it would be a hearty vegetable soup, and I love quinoa. It is by far my favorite grain. Soup and quinoa with a green and yellow steamed veggie, uh, that's my main dish, and I can live forever on that as well. My favorite dinner um, has to be a curry. Uh, it's my go-to dish. Most of my curries can be cooked in one pan because it's a combination of different um, herbs and spices um, with a variety of vegetables, lentils, beans, pulses, and then add it to my favorite grain, which is either brown rice or, or red quinoa. We have a special sandwich. We call it better than tuna. It's a, a plant-based sandwich. It's raw. We have a cinnamon bread, uh, and it's a carrot-based, uh, plant-based tuna uh, that has seaweed in it. Uh, very rich in nutrients. I really like thick chilies and soups, so like black bean chili and lentils, lentil soups, and um, uh, a lot of the things like chickpeas and uh, just really dense, thick soups. Creamy broccoli soup made with um, made with soy milk and you know thickened up a lot. That that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan of vegan sushi, and it's not that hard to make. Um, and some people will use avocado or uh, lots of other vegetables. For me, I tend to just stick with simple things like cucumbers. Just roll it up in nori with some rice and you have a little wasabi on there to give it some kick and dip it in soy sauce. It's like chocolate. My favorite evening meal is a lentil bolognese. It's so easy to make. I use a happy pear recipe from the book Recipes for Happiness and all you have to do is bung in some, some onions, some garlic, a bit of celery and carrot to start with. You saute it, you add in a tin of chopped tomatoes, a tin of pre-cooked lentils, then you add in just over a liter of veg stock. Bung in the pasta as well, just chuck it all in the pan and let it cook. And then when it's ready, you just add in a little bit of extra nutritional yeast, maybe a little bit of soy sauce for a bit of an extra punch and the kids love it, and I love it too. Lots of pasta dishes. Uh, I love my brown rice, so I'll have rice and different kinds of beans as well, um, which I, I just love to have beans every day. I love also making um, homemade, whole food, plant-based, oil-free pizzas as well, and making your own cheese out of, out of cashew nuts or, or, or something similar. So, so many different things um, that, I could, that I could mention to you, but yeah, those are some of my favorites. I love dal because uh, lentils are full of uh, protein and iron and fiber. You can throw in so many different spices like turmeric, cumin, whatever you like into this stew and it's just really comforting. Hey everybody, this is Klaus. I uh, just want to come in quickly and say firstly thank you very much for watching this video. Secondly, I uh, wanted to talk very, very briefly about a new partnership. We partnered with a new group called NFI Diet. Uh, they provide whole food, plant-based meal guides that go a step further than anything in the past by um, completely personalizing them. Uh, the protocol is being studied at a National Institute in Europe and they're getting some amazing results, uh, including uh, rapid weight loss as well as uh, type 2 diabetes remission often within weeks. Please check out the link down below if you want to find out more. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Dinner options. Oh, so my favorite um, vegan dinner is actually one that <laughs> perhaps unsurprisingly I don't have to make and that's ordering in vegan sushi. You can get all that, you know, you can do it with brown rice. You can order avocado and cucumber and all kinds of carrots and all the sort of, you know, pickled gourd, like all kinds of the, you know, vegan sushi fillings. And then you can do an order of steamed edamame on the side. So it's really great because we don't have to make it. Maybe it'll be beet greens, will be our greens, or kale. There's always some lentils and rice or beans and rice. And easily for dessert, there'll be some fruit. Quinoa, maybe black beans, maybe some avocado, um, and maybe some shallots, and then some sauce, and that will be dinner. Our favorite dinner recipe is uh, 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 Alfredo sauce, which is made out of uh, um, uh, nuts that Aisha makes and spaghetti. Um, uh, the, that's by far all of our favorite. I'm pretty simple when it comes to plant-based eating. My favorite thing to eat is probably lentils with kale. Um, I like avocado and then I'll put tomatoes in it as well as a little tahini, maybe some carrots, Brussels sprouts, any sort of vegetables I have. Broccoli, cauliflower, um, maybe some quinoa and just put it in a bowl and eat it.
I am a big fan of bowls. They're just so easy to put a, a scoop of quinoa and a scoop of beans, a scoop of beets, and a scoop of sprouts and some salad. I don't know if it's a salad. I don't know if it's a, a bowl. I tend to go in my kitchen uh, at the restaurant and just kind of create my own uh, combination of onions and garlic. It's really important to eat onions and garlic on a regular basis. They provide a lot of sulfur. Sulfur helps support healthy detoxification like glutathione, uh, one of the uh, great ways to uh, improve your health. Uh, so there's always a little bit of that. Um, always beans. I'll throw beans on top of almost any salad, whether they're just out of a can or whether they're cooked. Again, looking for blue zones, legumes, uh, lentils. But dinner, I definitely like something warm. So um, my background is Indian, so we tend to do more curries and rice. I try not to do as much white rice, try to do more quinoa. Um, so it has more fiber and nutrition in it. Um, but like chickpea curry and quinoa with some sauteed spinach and greens. Um, I try to add greens wherever I can, you know, it's, sometimes it's like, you know, it's like oh, I kind of look at a meal and be like, uh, how can I sneak a kale in here or spinach or something? My favorite dinner recipe has to be um, chilies. Um, I like making chilies, uh, you know, I put beans, again, I eat a lot of beans uh, with vegetables and I make it really spicy and my children and my husband can dress it the way they want. We have cut up vegetables like cilantro and onions and jalapeno peppers and we make a cashew based sour cream and, you know, it's, it's winter time so it, it really ends up being a delicious meal and it's really filling too. There's lots of incredible plant based restaurants in um, New York City, like Organic Grill and Candle 79 and PS Kitchen, they're all wonderful. But the one that's close to me, it's not plant-based, but it's an Italian restaurant called Il Violino, and they will make you amazing steamed Brussels sprouts and spinach, and uh, they'll make a whole grain pasta with a marinara sauce and tons of steamed veggies on top. So it's like a mountain of food, and they have good wine. I mean, you take a pressure cooker, you put in some vegetable broth, whatever veggies you have, you know, so I'll put in like potatoes, lentils, maybe some tofu. Uh, we made a curry lentil potato the other day that was, oh, so good. Uh, so that's usually when I'll put in some kind of cooked meals, but it's usually, again, very simple, like tofu and broccoli. Steamed tofu and broccoli is one of the big things because my kids love it so much and we put little brags aminos and we try to have something raw with every meal. I'll often just cook something simple, um, you know, any kind of vegetable with some grains, um, some black beans. One of my favorite things to make is um, just open up a can of black beans, rinse them very well. Some people are worried about gas and I'll have some sort of grain. My, my favorite grain at the moment is buckwheat. So you just buy the kernels and it's sort of like brown rice and you just boil them. It actually cooks a little faster than brown rice, um, as does quinoa and just mix it with the black beans and some jalapenos and peppers, maybe throw you know, some chopped up kale or chopped up spinach, and it's really delicious. Thank you.